Guys, today we're gonna crack open a $230 Funko Pop mystery box from Boom Loop Toys. We also gotta talk about our WonderCon haul. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I am super excited to kick off the week by opening up this $230 mystery box from arguably our favorite company right now, Boom Loot Toys. We've opened up a bunch of Boom Loot boxes here on the channel in the last few months and we've done very, very well. So if you guys haven't seen any of our videos from Boom Loot before, then you are definitely in for a special treat. I'm also gonna be talking about our WonderCon haul and the things that we picked up and a little mishap we unfortunately had here with the channel, but we will get into that later. So let's first kick off the video by talking about the details of the box really quick. So I'm going to throw up the glam shot on the screen. Now this one was $230 and it sold out pretty quickly because there was only 25 boxes. I was lucky enough to get one. Well actually, uh, correction, Joanna was lucky enough to get one for me. You get four pops inside this box and guys, speaking of WonderCon, the top hit is the Freddy Funko Clown. Limited to only 1,500 pieces from WonderCon a few weeks ago. But there is some really cool pops in this run. I pretty much hope to get anything except that clown. If you guys know me at all, I'm a huge Freddy collector, but clowns kind of creep me out. So I'm hoping not to get that one. The one that I'm really, really hoping for is the metallic OG Harley Quinn. That one is extremely hard to find in good condition, and it looks like this one in the run could be in good shape. I would love to pull that. There's a bunch of other good pops. So as usual, there's an OG Winter Soldier cap. There is, um, let's see, a Daredevil, uh, a couple Conan pops right here, a Danny Zuko Freddy. Um, the second top hit right here is the Aaron and Titan form from Attack on Titan. So there's also that Tony the Tiger up there with the Hollywood uh, sticker, which was you know him with the sunglasses, as well as Danny Phantom from New York Comic Con. So there's a lot of good stuff in this box. Lowest valued box was $220, and the highest one is coming in at $600. If you guys saw our video a few weeks back, we actually got one of the top boxes from Boom Loot, which was super exciting. So I have very high hopes for this box as well. While I'm cracking this box open, if you guys haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Believe it or not, guys, we are still rocking and rolling here. We recently just hit 22,000 subscribers right here on the channel, which is absolutely insane. Oh, shout out to Boom Loot for the double boxing. Definitely always appreciate that, especially when we're dealing with mystery boxes that are, you know, upwards of hundreds of dollars here. So I'm gonna crack this open, but yes, if you guys haven't subscribed, now is a perfect time to do so. We also have a big semi giveaway announcement for tonight. So stay tuned till the end of the video where we also talk about that. So, all right, we got four pops in our box. Let's see, we got some bubble wrap that we need to rip apart here. And let's see what we got. It seems like all four pops are in protectors, which is always a good sign, but I think for the most part, Boom Loot puts all their pops and protectors, which is great. So we're just gonna pull them out. And the first pop that we have right here, oh, this one's super cute. So this is Bashful from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. This is a really, really cute set that I know a lot of people are still going after. We were lucky enough to finish this set, I wanna say, maybe a few months ago. I know Joanna wanted all of the Seven Dwarves for her Disney collection, and I believe she was successful, so. But nonetheless, that's a great pop right there, especially for the Disney fans. All right, let's see what is in the bottom corner of the box for pop number two. Oh, I'm not sure what this is. So this is Columbia from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And there is a price here on the back of $105. If you guys can see that in the top left-hand corner, Boom Loot has been writing prices on their pops as of recent. So it would appear that this is probably our big hit of the box coming in from 2015. I have never seen this pop. Uh, I think we've gotten one or two pops before from this line, but definitely never gotten this one before. So, all right. Um, She's pretty interesting. I don't know anything about this movie. I know there's some uh, some good songs from that movie, uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I've heard people quote it before, 
but very interesting pop. Okay. So we are sitting at, according to, oh, there's actually no price on the Bashful. So we'll have to look that up. I think Bashful is somewhere around 30 to $40. So we're probably sitting at about 140. So we got two pops left. So they should both have a little bit of value or one has a lot of value and the other one could just be a common. Oh, next up we have a Marvel pop. And this is the Marvel Collector Core Glow in the Dark Star-Lord with the Power Stone. And this one actually came in a really good Collector Core box, if I'm not mistaken. I believe you got Star-Lord and Black Panther, if I'm, not, uh, if I'm not incorrect. I could be incorrect. But um, this one says it's coming in at $46. I definitely believe that because we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 coming out in just a few short weeks. And um, if I remember to do so... I will throw up a glow picture of the pop up on the screen so you guys can check it out. It's pretty cool. It's a great mold of Peter Quill here um, holding the Power Stone. It's, you know, he's got a nice glow that, you know, circles the pop. So pretty cool. All right. We got one left. And uh, I'm curious to see how we're going to shake out in terms of value. So last pop from the box. Let's see. Oh, it is a Conan pop. And this one is pretty interesting. So they used to do these Conan Pops right around San Diego Comic-Con. They would usually come out with a set of four every year. And I believe this is from 20, yeah, 2020, which I believe was the last year that they actually did it. So you guys can see on the back. Believe it or not, this is Conan dressed up as Wonder Woman from her sequel movie, Wonder Woman 1984. But also from that year, they had uh, Conan as... Aquaman, Conan as Dr. Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park. They also had Conan as Marty McFly, which that one I do have in my collection. And then Conan as Chucky. So interestingly enough, this is the only one where Conan is actually dressed up as a female. So, and it does have some pretty good value according to this sticker on the back, $65. That's not bad. So, all right, well, we got our four pops. I mean, these are all a little bit older ones too like these aren't new brand new commons or anything that just came out so uh, right off the bat uh, shout out to boom loot for putting older pops in their box but guys i'm going to check the values double check against the stickers on the back of the boxes here and i'll be right back all right well we only have four pops so checking the values did not take very long but i do have some good news to report back to you guys with so i'm going to start off here with star lord and he's actually gone up a little bit since this box was packed as he is coming in at $48. So definitely one to keep your eyes on with the uh, Volume 3 movie coming out very soon. Next up here we had Bashful and Bashful is coming in at $34. So I was correct right in between that $30 to $40 price range. Up next we did have our top hit, the Big Grail that we pulled. And this is Columbia, of course, and she is coming in at $105, so no change from the sticker. And then I also have no change on the sticker here for Conan as Wonder Woman, coming in at $65, giving me a grand total of $252. So we paid $230 for the box, and we got overvalue, and we got four non-new pops, you know, four older pops. So that's a huge win in my book. I already have the Star-Lord and we already have the Bashful. So none of these are gonna be keepers for our collection, unfortunately, but still a fantastic mystery box. Now on to the next order of business. So I actually filmed a WonderCon haul video a few days ago. It was actually before we left for the weekend for our Easter travels. And um, I opened up my Snagglepuss as well as five Bugs Bunny as Superman sodas. Now, I was trying to get ahead of the game. I was trying to, you know, make sure I had content filmed for this upcoming week since I knew we were going away for the weekend. And well, life kind of, you know, kicked me in the groin a little bit. So I unfortunately lost that video because the SD card that I was filming with is now for whatever reason corrupt so we tried to rescue the video using a software but we could not we could not get that video back so i'm just going to show off really quick what i was able to grab from wondercon i did successfully procure the baseball freddy this is the pop that i wanted the most so very very happy to have this in the collection they've made a lot of baseball freddies so i am hoping for some other sports related freddy funkos at some point but nonetheless this one was super cool and very happy to have it now moving on 
to the sodas. So I was so excited and I was really, really happy. I mean, the video I thought came out really good and I was so excited to show you guys and everything. So I did open up our 2,500 piece Snaggle Puss. This one sold out very quickly as most of you guys know. And um, unfortunately I was not lucky enough to get the chase but I still wanted to show it off for you guys in today's video. I know most of you guys have seen it, but um, just a really, really cool soda from the Hanna-Barbera line. And um, yeah, I just wanted to give some feedback because I know some people were probably waiting to see us open up our Snagglepuss. I know a lot of people have been searching through YouTube, trying to find other people opening them. I know that's what I've been doing because I've been trying to see who else out there has pulled the chase possibly, but we did not. Now moving on to the Bugs Bunny as Superman. So this guy, he kept me in a lot of suspense. Um, we were lucky enough to get five of these from the drop and I opened up two, then I opened up the Snagglepuss. I was unsuccessful with the Bugs Bunny. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna open up my other three and believe it or not, I was still unsuccessful. So I opened up five Bugs Bunny sodas here. I just gotta build this one really quick and show it off, but I was not able to pull the chase. But nonetheless, this one is super cool. One of my new favorites added to our soda collection. I love how they put the classic yellow Superman logo on the back of his cape. Kind of has that Christopher Reeves vibe right there. And overall, I think they just did a fantastic one or a fantastic job with this one. Um, not the flocked version, of course, but still very happy and, um, you know, Always great to get a new soda like this added to the collection. So that was our little WonderCon haul slash update. And that is going to bring us into today's Monday motivation. And for today's Monday motivation, it is just roll with the punches because that's what happens sometimes with life. Um, life definitely threw us a curveball with this, uh, you know, losing the video on the SD card. And that was definitely a bummer because I was trying to get ahead of the game. But that's what happens sometimes, you know, even as a proactive content creator, sometimes things don't always go as planned. So if you guys are content creators out there or just even non-content creators, whether it's in your life with your job, your family, um, you know, stuff happens all the time and you just got to roll with it and figure out other ways to, you know, preserve and overcome those obstacles so um, definitely very bummed that I wasn't able to show you guys that video but that's why I did the little recap and uh, we just had to roll with this punch here with the channel so guys tonight we do have a very special treat 7 p.m. Eastern over on the whatnot app we are gonna be doing a little bit of a somewhat of a giveaway here it is going to be our first ever Soda Chase Retail Rally. We have three fantastic Soda Chases in the form of the Homer Chase, the Blacklight Bebop Chase, as well as the Luke Skywalker Celebration Glow in the Dark Soda Chase. So all three of those chases are going to be dropping in the Buy It Now randomly throughout the show for only $15 each. So if you guys aren't doing anything tonight, bring your quick fingers and come on over because you might be able to get an awesome soda chase for only retail. $15 as if you bought the can and ripped it yourself and you pulled the chase, which is of, of course is worth more and a lot more rarer than the common. So we're very excited for that. We are very blessed. Um, by all you guys, thank you for all the support recently, and Joanne and I are constantly brainstorming and trying to find ways to give back and, of course, have fun as well. So we will have a big soda auction tonight, and uh, we really hope you guys can stop by and maybe even win a chase for only $15. So that's going to do it for us today, guys. Make sure to smash that like button on your way out. Drop it down in the comments which pop was your favorite from our mystery box today. And as always, don't stop shooting until you score.